Welcome, welcome, welcome. So what I have is 14 divided by negative 2i. And what I want to do is I want to show you how to simplify this and write it as a complex number. So right now, uh, we have it, and we have this complex number, but it's, we have it as a, we have an i on our bottom. And that's a problem because, well, we created i because of an imaginary, our imaginary number system. But, you know, still we don't really have a, our i is going to be our imaginary number system. And so in our real number system, we don't really have a value for i. Um, we, you know, we say it comes from the square root of negative 1 because we, we give it i because we don't have a value for the square root of negative 1. So the same respect, we can't divide by i, right? We don't know the actual val the real number value of i. Um, so, or you could think about it this way. If you, if you write i, where we say it represents the value of square root of negative 1, we remember we can never divide by the square root of a uh, number that was going to make it irrational. So we'd always rationalize the denominator. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do now with the complex number. So to rationalize this, I need to get rid of the i in the bottom. Well, a couple things you need to remember, hopefully you do, is we, we wrote i to represent, we bring i into the system for i to represent the square root of negative 1. So if i square both sides, I get i squared equals negative 1. So that means if I multiply i by i, I get rid of i. It becomes negative 1. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply by i on the top and the bottom. Make sure you multiply on the top and the bottom. If you don't, then you're not going to have equivalent fractions. If you don't have equivalent fractions, you're changing the answer, right? What's 1 half times you know, 2 on the denominator? That's 1 fourth. Not the same. 1 half divided times 2 over 2 is 2 fourths. Exactly the same. So when I multiply by i over i, I get 14i divided by negative 2 i squared. Well, we talked about negative 2 i squared is negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 2 would be positive 2. So I have 14 i divided by positive 2. I can now divide that into there. So I have 7 i would be my final answer. So this is my complex number, a plus b i, where the value of a, my real part, is going to be 0. There you go. Voila.